welcome back now in this video we will work simply on that method so we will create that so let's go above the widget build there we go with the widget build and right in here so in here you will say white and we're gonna make this private and gonna name this as a forget pass submit form and this will be asynchronous so right in there we will say try and right in the try what we will do we will say first of it and then first we will go and create our instance for the firebase auth so right down in here we will say final and firebase auth I'm gonna name this as our auth there we go authentication and in which we will simply now assign the firebase auth dot instance so there we go with the instance now simply we will go and use that in here auth then we will say dot send password reset email that first one it is going to take the email we are going to remove that add it just in a while so in here semicolon and tag this down now email and what we will do we will simply call upon the controller right in here the forget pass text control that first one and then we will say dot text so right after whenever the email will be authenticate whenever the user will enter right in here and press on that reset button it will be authenticate and then whenever the user will press on that button we will simply navigate the user to the login screen so for that what we will do in here we will say navigator dot push replacement there we go and it's gonna take the contacts there we go as you guys can see right in here now we will provide the root so in here we will say material page root it's gonna take the builder and now what we will do we will simply send the user as I tell you to the login screen right at the end semicolon so now you guys can see right in here now simply we will remove that yellow line so simply go and ignore that there we go it's gone now so this line of code as I tell you will push the user to the login screen whenever the user will provide their email for the reset and press on that reset button then it will simply right after will push the user to the login screen if it catch any error what we will do in here we will say error and right in there with the help of flutter toast there we go flutter toast and if i show you right in the postback.yaml we have already added the flutter toast dependency there we go now in here flutter toast dot show toss and now in here we will say error go to string we will convert it to string so if there will be any error then we will show that message with the help of flutter toss for the users so that's all for this method now simply we will call upon that method down in here right in this on press just call upon that right in here remove that comment and call upon that now we will simply how to reload the app it's gonna take some time just wait let's go back to the forget password 
so now we will go back to the sign up screen and we will register a new account with the original email so then they will contact us on that original email so let's go to the sign up screen and register the account in here so first we will upload the image I'll go with the gallery select the image you can copy it right in here we're gonna name this as a Zen Malik and we will provide the email that's my original email so provide your original email right in here and then we will give the password from 129 as you guys can see visibility off let's move to the phone number we will provide that right in here and company address will be Spain just Spain okay so that's fine all the field has been done also the profile and let's go now and click on this button sign up so here we go we are on the login screen now and if you go back to the firebase there we go with the share 3654 at the rate gmail.com we just registered that map right in the authentication if we go to the firestore database in here right in the user collection there we go with the Zain Malik Spain and there we go with the mail created ad ID phone number and there's the profile image let me show you that also so that you guys can get the idea open the new tab in here past it there we go okay now let me show you also in the storage add in the user images open that and click on that there we go the top is jpj and we upload that on july 2 2022 there we go now let's say i forgot my password for that account then we will go back to the android studio and go towards the forget password in here i will simply provide my mail that original one okay there we just registered the account on that so share 3654 at the gmail.com there we go now click on this reset now and it will simply send you the reset link on your mail and now we are on the login screen so now we will check that right on my mail if they send us the reset link or not so open the browser and open your mail so right in here as you guys can see it didn't show us any message right in here so now what we will do we will simply click on that more and go down and click on that spam there we go with our reset your password for project that's the message it didn't show up right in the inbox but it's right inside the spam and you guys can see that right in here so in your case if it didn't show in right in the inbox then you can simply click on that more and search for right in the spam and it will be right inside that so now what I will do I will simply click on that and and then simply click on this not spam it will send it back to the inbox there we go as you guys can see right in here now right in the inbox so simply open that and from here you guys can notice that share 3654 gmail.com that's my account and project 
number is that so now I will simply click on this URL and we will reset our password there we go so my password was before from 1 to 9 I will simply provide the password as a Zen Malik 1 2 3 4 5 let me show you that that's my new password now for my account now simply click on save and it will change your password as you guys can see right in here password changed successfully okay so now you can sign in with your new password so that's all for the forget password and we will simply close that now let's go back to the android studio so for now we will not log in whenever we will done with the home screen and created that home screen then we will log in so as you guys know we have already implemented the forget password screen and all of the are working so basically that's it for this video and right from the next video we will work further so see ya.